And with the warming temperatures of spring and the blooming flowers also comes the springtime sneezes and sniffles of allergy season. News Channel 7's Jude Binkley talked to Primary Health about what you should know as we go into this allergy season. Jude. Well, Doug, plenty of people have household allergies and some people even have year long allergies. But as pollen counts rise, there will be a lot more people reaching for these. Right now it's been kind of cold, so I think we're probably doing okay right now. Derek Hamblin is the director of urgent care for primary health. But soon as the weather warms up, we'll probably see pollen counts rise. And as pollen counts go up, so does the number of people experiencing the common spring allergy season symptoms. Itchy, watery eyes, itchy nose, sneezing, and allergic reactions can even trigger asthma. It's our body being exposed to something that it, that it identifies as being foreign, right? So it's having a reaction to it. And uh, so it varies. I mean, some people have allergies in different, um, you know, from our household allergies. Uh, the big, you know, obviously at this point, we're worried about allergies from, from outside or the environment. Data from the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America says about 26% of adults have seasonal allergies. Symptoms can be treated with over-the-counter medicines like antihistamines, nasal sprays, and eye drops that can be bought at pharmacies. Hamblin says there are also some steps you can take to stay safe during allergy season. The best thing to do is, is, avoid, uh, is avoid the pollen, and that's by being careful, you know, try to avoid being outside when the pollen counts are high, stay indoors, keep your windows and doors closed when the pollen counts are, are high, and have a good filter system, filtration system in your house. Now, Hamblin says people can react to allergens very differently, so if you're having more severe symptoms like swelling, severe hay fever, or breathing problems, or bad asthma, uh, you'll want to go to the doctor or urgent care. Now, we'll likely start to see pollen counts really ramp up in April as temperatures start to warm up. They definitely start to kick in for sure. Jude, thank you very much for the advice.